Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a few weeks, um, life's been hectic, which is sort of what I'm gonna talk about today in the video. Basically today in the video, I'm just gonna talk about, you know, life, um, what's been going on, little update for you. Hopefully I'll keep it reasonably brief and it won't be too long and I won't drag it out, but uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna start with the uh, training. And uh, my training's been a bit hit and miss lately. Squats feel rubbish. Um, deadlifts feel great. Bench feels a bit meh. Weight's moving fine on bench, but I just can't get into a comfortable position with my shoulders and my stuff and shoulders just feel a bit off. Um, motivation's been kind of lacking, which is not ideal being five weeks out from my first powerlifting competition. But it's trying to chuck going through the motions um with squat and bench deadlift is f bloody flying it feels solid hitting either volume prs or weight prs weekly sumo feels extremely comfortable getting in the position well gripping well grip's not an issue uh this is all on a stiff bar so hopefully when i switch over to a deadlift bar it'll be even better and yeah, that's about where I am at currently for my uh, my training. Um, about it really. Next, what I want to talk about is my comp competing, which I mentioned. Uh, I was talking about training. I'm five weeks out, as I mentioned. Um, like, I'm trying to say as fatigue free as possible managing my fatigue in these few weeks while uh, I'm still five weeks out hopefully or well, once it's three weeks out the fatigue will be extremely extremely high and I'll start tapering but yeah it's 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 I'm already feeling rough five weeks out I'm feeling rough I don't feel like I'm gonna be prepared to compete I don't feel ready to compete I feel like I've made a mistake um I honestly don't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like I made the right decision to compete this year. Hopefully, when it gets to the game day, all these shit sessions and good sessions will pay off and it will be all worth it in the long run. Um, the goal for this competition is just to qualify for the British Championships in Glasgow. Theoretically for that I need a 435 total, but obviously if they have tons of people who get a 435 total they're going to take the top, top people because, or invite the top people because there's no point in inviting everyone because why, why see someone who can barely total 435 when you can see someone total 700. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping I can total 550 or 560 in this comp. That's f five fifty is the the goal. Um, five eighty is the goal for the British, and then we'll discuss after that if British happens. Um, I'd love to squat near five hundred pounds. I'd love to bench near three hundred, and I'd love to squat well over five, well, a fair bit over 500. So I'd love to squat 220 plus bench, 130 plus and deadlift 235 plus. It, that's, that's that's the rough numbers I have in my head. Obviously go well on the day and I could smash that, go well on the day. Who knows, we'll have to play by ear and do everything in my power to not let it go bad and to recover and just to nail it and focus on being as robotic as possible with everything I do in training and my nutrition. Um, calories are set about 6,000 on training days and about 4,000 on rest days. Weight set about 91 in the morning. So very confident that I can make it to 90 kilos on comp day make it or make it under 90 kilos on comp day so no worries there and yeah it's 
that's about it. Um, more updates as we go along. But there's not really much to update you with currently. Um, next, we're going to talk about my life and how life's been going. And it's been going all right, actually. You know, I was going to say shit, but it's not. It's been going all right. Um, I, mean, I just started working at Pure Gym Barra Road, which is very exciting for me. Um, been looking over the past few weeks to get started working as a personal trainer in a gym and reached out to Barrow Road and got our jobs and I've just started that and it's going well. Absolutely loving it there. Um, that's pretty much it, a new chapter really in my life. Um, finished and done with education. Thank God, absolutely hated it. Um, secondary was the worst seven, eight years of my life, um, absolutely hated it. Uh, didn't have any motivation to be there. Didn't enjoy that being there. Didn't enjoy a vast majority of the people there, for various reasons. Most most of the, most of the time, it's how fake people are in it. Is people act a way to fit in with groups that they think can be more beneficial to them in the short run and. It's very hypocritical, and I'm I'm not perfect, and I didn't mis make mistakes through it. And everyone does; they're human. But no, it's not an environment that I feel I could have been productive in and thrived in. And people do feel like that. And school's not for everyone. And the fact that they teach the same for everyone is disgusting. Because they preach in a lot of schools that you need to be yourself and. You need to find out what you want to do, but then shove you on a syllabus that benefits you if you're a certain way and doesn't benefit you if you're not. Camera battery's going to die, so I keep I bomb through this and hopefully it doesn't die. If it does not die, I'll uh, go again with another one. Um, last thing is pretty much mental health. Um, currently. Mentally, I'm drained, a bit tired, not my strongest. Um, past few weeks have been extremely rough for me. I've probably been the lowest I've been in the past year. Um, really bad on, uh, basically because the training been going poorly. Had a really bad you know, breakdown after my session on Monday where squats went awfully and I failed what should have been a very easy warm up. Um, but yeah, so, like, I cried after my squat on Monday. I, I was sat there and I was fighting to hold back the tears because I was expecting squats to go amazingly and they went the complete opposite and it was, it was heartbreaking because this is what I've trained for for the past what well, three years has basically led up to this comp first competition and then failing what should have been a comfortable, easy warm-up killed me. Um, I had messages from a load of people who have been super supportive, just saying, you know, how happened, get on with it, don't let this ruin everything, and I genuinely cannot thank those people enough. Um, you know who you are um, if you see this, so thank you for that, because... That's literally what I needed. And yeah, so it's, it's on the way up, but no. Um, yeah, extremely depressed and anxious over the past few weeks. Um, don't particularly fancy going into too many details just because it's not something I particularly want to share just yet. But yeah, no, I don't. I've not been in the best shape and which you may have noticed as YouTube videos have been non-existent, Instagram posts are basically non-existent and I've just been in the gym, headphones on, not wanting to record anything just because I, um, I'm not particularly happy with where I'm at currently. It's getting better and honestly can't thank Phoebe enough, my girlfriend, 
for all the support she's given me over the past few weeks. Literally, like, fucking saved my life, man. Like, seriously, like, she's actually saved my life, and oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Um, that's, I mean, that's it, guys. I'm, I'm done. Thanks for watching. I know it's not been the most interesting video, and it's not been the uh, most upbeat video, but I feel like it needed to be made. Um, hopefully the content will start picking up and it'll be more interesting over the next few weeks. I'm trying to sort something out for someone filming the comp. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and I shall see you in the next one.